Hello, fellow engineers. Have you ever wondered what an average workday is like for a civil engineer? No, probably not. But you're about to find out as we continue our journey in Infra. So Infra is a civil engineering simulator. We're currently... Oh, what are we doing? We're like... We sort of found a mine last time. Uh, it's all sort of collapsed. You can see all the rocks all falling down. And there's like a load of explosives that haven't been set off. And we... Oh god, yeah, I dropped it on the floor, didn't I? <laughs> we have a stick of dynamite. Uh, so this is this is just like my day job. Where's the other stick? I swear there was two... Oh, there it is. On the floor. We'll gently plop that down on the table. Oh god. <laughs> gently put that back up. Why are they so... Why are they so bouncy? Alright, so we will play with that dynamite. I'm just going to have a little explore and see what the game wants me to do with it. Oh look, there's a... There's a I found a door. Can't get to the door. There you go. Oh, okay, so this was, if you watched the last video, this, this is where I used the power of engineering to turn one fuse into two. I think I actually decided to turn around at this point, and I went the scenic route, but... <laughs> but uh, it turns out I would have ended up in the same place if I just did that. Anyway, what's, what's down this way? Ooh, we haven't been in here. I think we'll climb up these boxes. Oh, no you won't. We won't climb up these boxes. We've got this ladder instead. Alright, so we're on some scaffolding that we don't know how old it is. Uh, seems to be... Looks like a generator down there on a pulley system and some sort of crane. We'll go back down the ladder. How do I get over there? I can't get over there. I mean, you'd think in a realistic simulator I could just climb through there, but I guess health and safety. There's also a ladder at this end. What if we got this one? There's a box up there. Can I grab that? No, I don't think so. No, oh, I can go down this ladder right next to the water. Oh god, I think that needs a photo. So in this game, we've got to take photos of all the like sort of broken stuff. If you look at my camera, you can see the little square marks. That's when I'm just looking at something that's not broken. And if we move something that's broken, the square gets smaller. That's telling me that it's broken. So, click. There's a collapse over there. So, take a photo of that. And you can see there, there's a broken walkway. So, photo of that. All right, we can't just keep our camera out for ages. We've got, like, batteries we got to manage and stuff. So, let's head to here. This is our... This is the switch. So, we're bringing the crane thing down. And there's a barrel. I don't know if I need to, like jump in it. I don't think I can jump in it. I can. I can get in it and send myself. <laughs> you would not ever do this in real life. Well, you probably would actually, but you'd get in a lot of trouble. Yeah, but we're being carried up. Oh god, I nearly crushed my head and got my fingers trapped in that pulley. Alright, now I can go on here. And then there's loads of boxes up here. I don't know. I assume we need them for something. Is it to get across that? Are we going to have to build like a box bridge? There's a ladder there. Like, I don't know what's best to do here. I got sort of two options, I think. I either try and build something high here and jump over to that, or I try and go that way. I think I might try and go that way, if I'm honest. But the question is, is it better to, like, make something high and try, like, long jump it? Or do I build, like, a tower in the middle and jump to the tower? I think we'll try that. Oh, don't fall off the edge. <laughs> oh, bollocks. All right, so can I jump from this one? Huh! Ow! Uh, that was a no. But now if I get on this box, I should be able to make that jump, surely. Yes! We made it. So now we can go across this very usefully placed plank, and then walk along this pipe. Well, I'm sprinting, because... Because <laughs> I'm paid by the hour, and I've got I've got to get my job done. Uh, it looks like someone's been welding here. Interesting. Alright, up this ladder. The ladder to nowhere. And then over this edge. Cool, and we're up. So this is the way I would have gone, but uh, obviously that's collapsed. So we're going to have to go that way, through that concrete building end thing. Alright, so we can unbolt this door, pick up the batteries for our camera, have a little read of the newspaper. Alright, so that was basically just a bit of a bit of drama about this tunnel being built. So this was like a fresh water tunnel. And um, we found out, we found out in the last video that it's actually being polluted. Like, the workers are just pooing straight into the water and, it, oh, it's all gross. Uh... That really looks like the Monopoly instructions, doesn't it? Alright, so we've got the X out there. Well, what is along this way? Oh yeah, nothing, because it collapsed. I do sort of want to go down, though, just to see what is down. I don't know. Let's go this way first. Alright, we've got a locked office. Not sure how to get in there. This definitely is the exit way, so maybe I do want to try and go down first. Yeah, sort of. It is my job to explore the full extents. Oh, what about that dynamite as well? I didn't even use the dynamite. I'm going to go back and do the dynamite stuff. But first, let's... Bollocks. Yep, try, tried a few times now, and you can't seem to get down without dying. Let's try a long jump. Huh. I think there's an invisible wall. Right, going back to the realism. Let's let's not keep dying. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go explode some dynamite while we're here. 
Nice and realistic. <laughs> right, hopefully I can just drop down to this plank. It looks sturdy enough, right? Oh, that did hurt. You can see my eyeballs popping under the pressure. Oh, look, there's a fuse. <gasps> what do we need a fuse for? Ooh, I haven't seen a fuse box, but I feel like we should take this with us. All right, so I can sort of see through there. Maybe that's like down the bottom of where I was before. So maybe I could blast that out the way. Let's have a little go. So this is our dynamite. We'll very carefully pick that up and carefully just walk over. Does it go in the hole? Is this going to be really rude? Fuck. <laughs> it was a bit, wasn't it? So that dynamite is in there. I'll grab the other stick. So this is like the, the detonator. I don't know if I press arm, if that will arm both of them. Like it looks like a wireless Bluetooth system. These are Bluetooth dynamite sticks. So I don't know what to do with this. Do I try and shove it in another one? Eh, get in. <laughs> oh, this is, this is quite weird. This is really quite weird. <laughs> No, I think we'll, t we'll take this one with us. We might need it later on. I'm going to assume, which by the way, in engineering, you should never assume because assuming makes an ass out of you and me. Yep. Oh God. I literally just, I think I just, did I just hit the button? Is that going to explode? Where do I leave the other stick of dynamite? I'm going to hide behind here. Oh God. Did it kill me? I think it killed me. Oh, what? <laughs> no way. That killed me. Honestly, I thought I was being safe then. Game's rubbish. All right, so shove that in the hole. And do I just hit detonate again? I'm worried about this one. Was this the one that actually killed me? Do I leave this one in the room? I don't know. I'll, le I'll leave it there. Surely that's fine. I'm pretty sure if, like the red thing is the detonation bit. Right? Maybe that's just dynamite. It's not connected to anything. It can't be Bluetooth. That was, that was a joke. That was a joke. All right, detonate. I'm going to stay in here because I feel like the safety of a crate will stop me getting hurt. Like, there's a there's a stack of dynamite in here. Oh god. Oh, oh, I think I got hit by flying rocks before. That makes sense. Alright, do I take the fuse with me? Or the dynamite stick? I'll take the fuse. Oh wow, that proper got obliterated. Yeah, nice. And now we're down the bottom. If you remember we were up on that side. Now we're on this side. Put the fuse on there for now. And let's just have a little wander around. We've got some boxes. There seems to be a ladder at this end. Oh, there's another fuse interesting a door with no handles so that's no use we'll take this fuse up the ladder okay so maybe we need a box here in order to get across i'll, I'll try and long jump probably without the fuse oh we can make that jump that's good and climb over the chainless chainsaw and there's another box here all right so there's a ladder up there so i'm gonna guess that's where i need to get to so we will first grab this box i think maybe we just want to build yeah, build a stack of boxes here so I can jump onto that platform. Oh, or I can just put the box up here and then I can get up instantly. Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. Oh no, the chainsaw's blocking my path. <laughs> All right, so I assume I can just do that, can I? Yeah, then we're up. Do I need to go back for my fuses? It's another box at the end here. I'm not entirely sure the need for that. So we're on this walkway now. Wait, what's the point of all of this? What's the point of all of this? Did I come hit... What? Did I come up just to get the box? Oh, I can go up again. I go up again. Let's go up again. All right, this is a bit sketch, but we can climb up balanced boxes on top of scaffolding without railings next to really high ledges. <laughs> In a half collapsed underground tunnel that only one person knows I'm here, my boss, and he does not give a crap about health and safety. Uh, I hope I'm getting paid well. That's all I'm going to say. Oh God, that board was creaking. That was not my ass. I promise you that's not my ass. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're at the end. Oh, shit, in hell. Okay, we, we fell down. Oh, we just got back. Oh, it's just two routes. Oh, that's all we've done. We've just... How strange. Yeah, so we've just got back to this door where we were before. I wonder, do I need the fuses for anything? I haven't seen a fuse box around. But I'm not sure how I get into this office. Don't know. Anyway, if we see a fuse box, we'll come back. But I think for now, we'll just we'll head up to the exit. All right, let's get our flashlight out. Oh, frig me. This is terrifying suddenly. I'm scared like some creature's going to be behind that box. No, we're safe. We're okay. All right, okay. I don't see anything wrong with down there. What's through here? That looks like electrocuted water. We know all about that from the earlier episodes. But there is another fuse. So we'll pick that up. And take that with us this way. I assume I'm going to have to go back and get all the fuses then. Uh, let's drop that there for now because there's a box here. Oh, there's, there's two boxes. Oh, we can, go, we can go up and over. Up and over. Yeah, but first, let's take a photo of this. Pitch black. We got a flash. We got the spark in there, so that's all right. 
Uh, fuse, stay there for now. We'll take a photo of the collapse up this end. And oh, look, look. Does that mean I can put dynamite? Oh no, actually there's boxes of dynamite. Oh, I was going to go back and get the dynamite, but I don't think I need to. I might go back and get the fuses though. Do you think that would be wise? I don't know why there's so many boxes as well. Maybe I could use the boxes to make a bridge. Yeah, I could actually. I could box along there. Oh, I don't know what to do. There's so many options in this game. I feel like there's like, like what I did before. There's sort of two routes. Although actually, there was a fuse on each side. So maybe that's why I did that. No, I've decided I'm going to go get the fuses. You guys wait there. Really? Arrgh! No, oh, you bastard. Oh, what was that splash? Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, no. I heard it splash. It was on that box that I've just knocked off. Oh, are you joking? Right, drop one down. Yes, go back. Daddy does it. Right, they're both below me, so this can break. That's fine. Right, so three fuses. That was probably more hassle than it was worth. Especially when I could just do the power of engineering trick that I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, but now we need to decide what to do. Do we go that way? Do you want to see what's up there? Oh god, that's a dynamite storage room. That's not good. Uh, or do we go up and over? I might go up and over first. I just want to have a little look. I might be able to get a bit of a vantage point of if I were to box along what's actually down there. Well, it looks like I can just drop down here anyway. Oh, look, and there's a final fuse. I say final. A fourth fuse. Ah, oh, four fuse holes. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> it was worthwhile. Hello, bear. All right, so we'll drop this one on the table. Bollocks. Well, at least I know to take all of these with me this time. Can I carry two of these at once? All right, ready? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do that. I'll probably lose it. All right, so we've got our four fuses. I'm going to try a bit harder this time to drop it in the right place. <laughs> Lean over a little bit more. Oh, God, that was close. <laughs> right, hopefully that might prevent the other ones doing the same. Ooh, don't like this. Ready? Oh! <laughs> that was so close to going off the edge. All right, this one, I'm going to hold on to it and drop down with it. I hope this is the right thing to do. Huh? Yes. That's one fuse in. Storage, dynamite, storage. Okay, so two. Yep, yeah, just one more. Right, four fuses and four holes. Let's turn the power off. Oh, and now the water's safe. Oh, that's wait. I'm so glad I don't have to box my way along there. That would have been well annoying. Cool, right. Let's, let's head along here then. That was cool. I like that there's like two different ways to do that. You could box your way along. Oh, there's another fuse here. So many fuses. Do I take that one with me? I don't know. There's, there's some rebar hanging out. So if you ever see a wall that looks like that, you can see like the rusty metal poking through. Uh, stay away from it, because it's probably going to collapse soon. <laughs> oh, I should have taken a photo. Did I take a photo of that? I must have done. I can't take a photo now, because I fixed it. Is that a good or bad thing? Am I meant to take a photo and then fix it? I don't know. Let's let's take this fuse with us, just in case. And can we get into this door? No, she's locked. Right, come on, fuse. Right, we've come to this very creepy-looking jail door. Really? And it's locked. It's actually locked. Why? 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 <laughs> Well, that threw a spanner in the work. I haven't... Where's a key going to be? That door's locked. That door's locked. Oh, I tell you what. I need to turn the power back on. And that will open all the doors. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Okay, so I do need the boxes to make a path back. I understand now. That's very cheeky game. That's so cool, actually. I. <laughs> what a clever game. Like, keep me guessing. I feel like an idiot for being like, oh, I'm so glad I didn't have to do the boxes. I sound like a proper architect. So I don't know if those doors can be opened. So I'm going to take these boxes as well. Right, so hopefully I should just be able to walk along these without falling in the water. Nice. Okay, so power on. Nice. Now I can take a photo of the sparks. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yes, you are, friend. We're literally stood right on top of it. All right, so if we head along here, can we now open this door? We can open this door. Uh, we're not going to go in there until we've turned the power off. But we'll keep heading back this way because I think the doors over here should be open. So yeah, we've got storage. Ow. Door in my face. Uh, some more camera batteries. Lovely. Uh, another fuse. There's so many fuses in this game. <laughs> okay, so we're probably going to have to take that with us. So I'll leave it there for now. And I'm going to go check that this office down here hasn't opened. I feel like it might have done. Yes, it has. It has. 
We're in the office. Yeah, so computer I won't turn on, but we got this. What does this say? Okay, so that was just some document saying the construction was all dodgy and they haven't got enough money and just just basically saying the company's not not looking good and the this project and the hydro dam both not looking good so it shouldn't have been surprised to anyone it was written down formally right we'll grab this fuse and we'll head along here i'm gonna plonk that there thank you and then i'm gonna turn the power off all right we'll have a look in this room what do we have got a sheet on metric of dynamite that's quite scary and we got the key to the gate wow there is so much dynamite in here I wonder if electricity, like, in the water would have set that off if it wasn't... Oh, I guess not, because those ones are definitely in the ground. Uh, right, so I do actually want to lay the boxes out so I can go this direction as well, because I'm pretty sure there's a door up there. So I can hop onto the barrel, run along this edge, jump up on here. So I just need a couple of boxes just to get to this door, because I'm intrigued as to what's behind it. C5. All right, there we go. We should be good. We'll turn the power on, come unlock the door, turn the power off, and then see what's in the door. Right, power on. I assume it's all electrocuted still. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it. No chance. Open this door. Lovely. Now we'll go turn the power off. Power off. Sweet. Now I'll go grab this. Oh, where'd I leave it? Where did I put that fuse that I found? Oh no. What did I do? Did I I didn't drop it in the water, did I? I swear I had two fuses. Where have they gone? Oh bollocks. I think they're on the boxes. Did I leave them on the boxes? And I picked up a box and it must have fallen off. Anyway, what's in here? We can move boxes to get higher. So let's go see what's up here. Okay, looks like we can bypass the gate. Interesting. So I could drop down, but I'll carry on. I'm gutted I lost those fuses. Oh, what's up here? Oh, more batteries. So may as well unlock this. Unless, do I leave the fuses here? Oh, there's one. Oh, I'm pretty sure I dropped one in the water. Whoa, that's cool graffiti. <laughs> Bum. More batteries? Some milk. Can I drink the milk? Oh, no, I just, I just launched it. Oh, I can tell there's going to be a bloody fuse box down here. Oh, loading screen. Maybe there isn't. Because I don't think you can take fuses through loading boxes. Chapter 4. Heavy industry of the past. Hey, what's that? Oh, buttons. I shouldn't... <laughs> I just pressed them. Okay, so remember there's buttons there. Alright, so it looks like there's a ladder there that we could go up. Or we can try and vault that fence. Apparently cars come down here. Okay, oh, we need to take a photo of that. That is well and truly broken. What the frig is that? Like a devil jellyfish or something. <laughs> Stolberg future... Your future. No work, no home. The only place to get better future is open sewer. So that's a cheeky, cheeky teaser for the next game. The developers of this, their next game is called Open Sewer. Yeah, I haven't actually heard much about that game. I might have to see what it's all about. If it's anything like this one, I'll definitely be playing it. All right, where are we? I can see tools. Give me the tool. Oh, yeah, I can see daylight. I never thought we'd see daylight again, but the door's locked. What is in that barrel? It's a barrel of mercury. Oh, here we go. We've got a key. No, thank you. I'm going to guess that opens this door to the outside. Prepare your eyeballs, people. Oh! Ow, that is really bright. Nice. I want to I wanna try and get in there. I reckon we maybe have to come up the top and drop down. I do... I've got to take a photo of that. Sure. Come on, game. That's a broken barrier. Someone could fall off there. All right, this is really overgrown. There's a chimney. I don't know what this is. Where are we? I thought when I started this game... When I was in my office talking to Doris and all that. I thought I'd just be like inspecting a bridge and then going back to the office. I've <laughs> Is it still the same day? I feel like I need to make a camp or something. This has gone on for hours and hours. I've got a padlocked chain door. So if I find bolt cutters, we can snip those. So maybe that's what I do over there. I can get into that store and grab the bolt cutters. We will try and remember that. All right, I had a little explore. Couldn't see too much. So we're going to head up here. I should probably let the guys at the office know where I am. Oh, we're phoning the office to let them know where we are. Finally. Do we know where we are? Okay, apparently there's no signal. So we're going to head up to the tower where there's a transmitter. <laughs> I feel like we're clutching at straws a bit there, but whatever. Whatever. Right, so this was the edge, I believe. Oh, what are these? Are they glow sticks? People have had a rave. The rave club. Oh, it's a club. Sweet. All right, so we're going to drop down. Ow. <laughs> That's my eyeballs bulging. Head along these pipes and things. Drop into here. We've got all sorts. Right, computer. Bollocks. <laughs> right, break that computer. But we do have some batteries. We can open this door now. Yes, and most importantly, we've got the bolt cutters. Can't take any other tools, it seems. Right, okay. Should I take a photo of the smoking computer? 
No, apparently that's not a photo, but this newspaper is. And basically that newspaper just said that Stolberg Steel, like the main company thing, sort of collapsed uh, without any warning, which as we know, there was warning because they were talking to each other about it. So some dodgy corruption sort of stuff going on. All right, we've snipped the chain and now we're in here. Ah, okay, and we've just told ourselves that uh, this place is abandoned. It's the old steel factory and we don't need to take any photos here. So thankfully, it's a good thing because this place don't look good. It don't look in a good a good state. Why are we going through it if we don't need to? Not entirely sure. I don't know if I'm like survival instinct or if this is just like a normal day being an engineer in Sweden or wherever this is. God, look at that smoke. Why is it red? That's scary. Oh, look, that's the dangerous mushrooms. Why is it all red? What's going on? That's really weird. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right, we're going to leave that there for today. Next time, we'll be exploring the steel mill. But as always, please give the video a like if you are enjoying. And uh, peace, love, and bridges. I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.